Hey, Bev again, and in today's video, I want to talk about electrolytes. You may have heard of electrolytes. Um, I'm going to just talk about the nutritional ones, okay? So, for example, and a lot of them end in UM. If you see something in UM, ending in UM, it's going to be an electrolyte. Sodium, potassium, calcium, magnesium. I mean, there are other nutritional ones as well. There's uh, chloride. Um, phosphate and phosphate is mostly in your bones and your your uh, teeth actually but you need uh, a good electrolyte level or balance um, to match your fluid levels okay and what are they like what do they do well they're ions and they provide small electrical currents that are needed by your muscle tissues um, so if you have a low electrolyte level, your aerobic power is going to be majorly compromised. Um, you're going to get muscle weakness. You could get severe cramping, okay, maybe in your legs, wherever. Um, and that is because of muscle contractions, okay, They're, and it hurts. Um, now, uh, when you, muscles use uh, calcium, I'm just simplifying this, okay? Muscles use calcium to contract or shorten the muscle, and they use magnesium to extend or lengthen the muscle. So for instance, in weightlifting, um, when you contract, right, you contract your bicep, you're shortening it, you're going to need calcium, and when you lengthen it or extend it, magnesium. Um, and think of your heart muscle, same thing, right? It's got to it's got to work. Uh, let's think of marathoners. You know, if you if you go to a road race in your in your city and you see marathoners, you'll see them um, preloading a lot of electrolytes. And during the race, you may wonder what they're eating or drinking. Those are our electrolytes, okay? The paste and whatever they're carrying around, fanny packs, eating and drinking electrolytes uh, because they don't want cramps, right? Um, they need to ensure that their body can deliver enough fluid to their hard-working muscles. Um, and let's take, um, I don't know if you were watching the Olympics, but you will have seen, uh, I did see this woman, I can't remember how many meters she was running, but she actually fell down two-thirds of the way through the race um, with a horrible cramp in her in her leg. And she just was... She couldn't get up, right? And uh, we'll talk later about maybe why that happened at uh, the Olympics. Um, now, why do people get uh, electrolyte imbalances? Well, it could be for many reasons. Um, your water level is very, very important for electrolyte uh, balance. Uh, if your blood is too thick, too viscous, or if your fluids are too diluted, uh, your, your electrolyte levels are going to be off. So that's dehydration, not enough water, and hyper or overhydration. You might wonder if that's possible, but it is, and I've done a video on that much earlier. Um, so, and sweating. Let's go back to the Olympics. Um, the the woman that I saw that fell over, uh, she cramped up near the, the race, but it was horrifically hot over there. So she would have been sweating a lot. And when you flush out a lot of minerals, okay, your body uh, goes into a panic. Um, now, she would have lost a lot of sodium, and you need that to transmit nerve um, impulses and, uh, and obviously to contract and extend your muscles, including your heart. Uh, potassium would have been uh, flushed out. Uh, your muscles, you know, if you lose a lot of potassium, your body has to get it. And where does it get it? It gets it from your muscles, okay? So you're going to end up in a negative uh, nitrogen balance. That's a, another video. Um, and let's take magnesium. Remember earlier I said magnesium extends and lengthens the muscles. Uh, so if you lose a lot of magnesium in sweat, you know, you're not going to be able to uh, to move those legs as well, right? And you're going to get cramped. So uh, anyway, pretty sad to see. Um, the other thing is uh, starvation. Um, oh, I should say diarrhea and vomiting 
uh, fever. These are all reasons that your electrolytes get all screwed up, right? And eating disorders. And let's take starvation as, a, as an example. Stupid diet, right? Um, people who starve themselves, what happens is they don't have enough insulin and insulin... Um, kind of keeps your ketones in in uh, in order and so suddenly you have more ketones and ketones are very acidic in nature um, so you get this high uh, blood acidity and then also your metabolism uh, slows down so you've got more uh, fat making enzymes whipping around instead of these fat releasing ones and uh, and your calorie burning ability is diminished so um, frankly starvation is not great for uh, keeping your weight in control or your fat, uh, your excess fat in control. It does the reverse. I'm not talking about somebody, you know, stuck out on, uh, you know, Atlantic Ocean starving for weeks. No, I'm talking about the person who goes on these stupid starvation diets, okay? So what kind of foods can you eat to maintain electrical, uh, uh, um, electrolyte balance? Milk products are good, bananas, lemons and limes, believe it or not, avocados, watermelon, dried apricots, although don't eat too many of those, they are high sugar, prunes, and believe it or not, something positive, coffee. Okay, see you in the next video, and uh, I hope you learned something from this. And if you did, consider buying my book, okay? I can't believe it. It's even available in Walmart online. Can you believe that? Anyway, see you in the next video. Bye for now.